Oh wait, Blender, ooh, Blender 4.2 just dropped. Are you lying to me right now? Hold on, breaking news. Did 4.2 really just come out? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna reboot the stream. We're gonna take a pause. This is what I was doing in Houdini. I think this is well worth our time. Let's see, where's the new reel? <laughs> All the community stuff. So many talented artists. Gosh, yeah, Blender's just looking so sick. It's getting better. I mean, come on. Ridiculous. How bad it's looking. Oh my. There are so many talented artists. Paul, I think that's Paul something. I mean, I love seeing it. Damn, that was sick. I don't know where that's from. That animation's amazing. I bought his course. I bought this course. I haven't had time. That shot, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Cheese. Cheese and crackers. So many talented people. Um, okay. Sensational looks like lighting is a breeze. You support with globe illumination. EV automatically extracts light intensity in world environments, treats them as sunlight. That's amazing. Bump up your game. Real displacement now in EV. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have been waiting for this. Subsurface scattering. Blender 4.1 versus 4.2 LTS. Definitely better subsurface scattering. Excited about that. Turn up the volumes. Dither volumetrics. Left. This is a. Uh, yeah, those volumetrics look way smoother. That's great. Blurry vision. Real-time motion blur in the 3D viewport. Oh, that's sick. That's cool. Cycles. This is what I wanted to see. I like I like Eevee and I'm excited to try Eevee, but I really want to see um, what's going on with Cycles. Ray Travel. The new, oh yeah, this is the new portal, which is awesome. It's basically like you can have a texture that is, that is, the image is like you're looking through a window into another world. That's the only way I can explain it. Like you can have, I believe, a camera assigned to the ray portal and it's like you're looking through it, which is... Okay, thin film, yay! Thin film, that's something I loved in Octane. I'm so glad to see it's here. Soft volumetrics, oh my gosh. Oh, finally. <laughs> I'm like so happy about volumetrics being fixed. <laughs> Classic noise, blue noise, blue noise, denoise, blue noise, dither sampling, improve visual quality renders. Is this on by default? Let's see. That mainly helps with maximizing numbers of samples, lower interactive viewport renders. New files, but okay, mode by default. Well, existing files can be changed sampling. Means. Okay, that's good to know. I want to see also extensions. Oh, and add ons are on. Okay, easily installed. Getting extensions has never been easier. Drag and drop from the website. That is so cool. So now you don't need to go into your preferences and do install add-ons. It looks like now you just drag them over. That is so cool. Um, stay up to date. You just, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is nice. Just click update. You don't need to go download a new one. Thank you. Thank you, Blender. Um, work offline. Internet access fully optional by default, but extended. Da, 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 da. Okay, so that's for the add ons, so you don't need to have internet, which is great. Extensions platform. This is this is cool. I've seen this, this new extensions platform. You can drag. Wait, where is it? You go into here, and it's like you can. Um, so this is. Is this going to compete with like Blender Market? Is this just add ons, but 
Blender official add ons. Manage extensions. That's cool. Drag and drop. See, here's what I was talking about. Drag and drop. Oh, yeah. So look at this. Drag and drop into Blender. Oh, my. And it's already in. That's so cool. Discover 200 extensions. Wow. So they already have a whole library. That's amazing. Studio friendly. Okay. So Portal installation, environment, blah, 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 blah. deploying. Sorry, guys, this is all stuff we got to know. Kronos and PBR neutral tone mapper. Okay, so this is, um, so people are having problems with AGX. And apparently, Kronos is the answer to some of these problems. You can see the coloring that's standard, and then they got better with AGX, but there was a huge shift that was happening in AGX. And so this keeps the hue in the highlights but it doesn't clip it because standard was clipping. AGX was fixing the problem by bringing it down, but it was desaturating the, the uh, value. It was like a kind of a cheat. And now it looks like Kronos, it, it corrects it by keeping the set, the hue and sat, but also not letting it clip. Great, great. Um, I'm gonna go try that. Okay, let's see, draw the line, polygon gestures, lasso tool. Polygon mask, sculpting tools, or is this a, oh, you can draw polygons onto a surface. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Um, I don't know all the tools put it to test. Enter the matrix, okay. Whole new socket for matrices. <clears throat> uh, makes it easy, let me see. Um, whole new socket of matrices makes it work even for using nodes. Let me see. Oh, rad. Pizza stack generator. <laughs> Let's see. Um, no tools. No tools become interactive. Let's play this. Impact feature. Oh, yeah. I haven't played with any of these uh, no tools. I know you can create these but I don't know how so but that's cool for people that want to do that sequencer sequencer new video sequencer it's faster probably yeah I saw this it's, it, it reminds me a lot of uh, DaVinci Resolve which is cool more than words research over okay it looks like you know titles that's great industry ready collection exporter okay USD all let's try out Eevee, and I'm gonna do some displacement. And then let's throw in, let's try this one. Oh, oh, hey, hey, there we go. Oh, look at that, we're getting displacement in Eevee. I thought I did. So that's what that looks like, and yep. Now we can add in displacement. That's pretty amazing. I'm gonna add more subdivisions. Let's see if I can hurt it. That's pretty amazing how fast that displacement's working. I'm gonna, it's gonna be hard to be like, oh, should I use Eevee or Cycles on some projects now? Cause a lot of times I'm like, I didn't want to use Eevee cause I was like, I, I wanted a displacement, but let's make this bigger for you. Look at that. Hey, let's try the volumetric. Plug this in, that. Wow. Oh, that's cool. It looks so clean. Probably a year now. That was a pixel. Same with the ground, it's a pixel asset. Oh, pff, that looks, yep. Yep, I like it. Wow, look at that, guys. Should I switch over to cycles and see if, how that's looking? Kind of like do lighting in Eevee, and then once you're happy with it, can you switch to cycles? I mean, cycles definitely looks better. Sorry, it does. It looks way more photoreal. Cool, well, 4.2 is out, amazing. It's gonna be fun to play with. Can't wait to see what you guys are gonna make. Can't wait to see what I'm gonna play with this and make. Okay, um, and on Twitter, you guys can follow me on Twitter. Send me, tag me, and show me what you guys are gonna make with it. I love to see what everyone's working on. It's a lot of fun. All right, thanks.